During her 70-year reign, the Queen has met with more than 14 prime ministers from Winston Churchill to most recently Boris Johnson. However, Johnson's recent resignation means there will need to be a new prime minister and conservative party leader, but it also means the Queen will now be served by yet another new leader. The next conservative leader will be announced in September, but this is around the time the Queen will be away visiting her Scottish retreat, Balmoral. This might mean that the new Tory leader will have to travel to Aberdeen to visit the Queen, instead of them usually visiting Buckingham Palace to meet Her Majesty. However, there is a possibility that the Queen might have to abandon her holiday at Balmoral in order to return to Buckingham Palace to greet the new Conservative leader. When a new leader is elected, it is traditional for them to have a private meeting with the Queen in Buckingham Palace, known as the Audience, where the individual and the Queen kiss hands. Balmoral Castle is more than 800 miles away from Buckingham Palace, which is quite a long journey for the 96-year-old monarch. In previous royal events, Prince Charles has taken responsibility for some of the Queen's roles, including the most recent state opening of Parliament. The Prince of Wales could step in and meet the new Prime Minister if needs be. The new leader of the Conservative Party will be announced on September 5.